good morning guys so this is still kind of what is this day two after i got back from the bins i think it is yeah yeah um and i'm still recovering from you know just the weather and being trapped away and everything so um it's still pretty cold it's 26 degrees as a high today in saratoga but it feels warmer so we bundled up i put my carhartt lined pants on and my carhartt coat which i've honestly that's the only thing people have seen me in for a month is like this kind of you know real heavy duty like farm carhartt coat and um and i'm short anyway so it just makes me look really bulky but like i have not gone outside without that thing for like over a month and i normally have more kind of like a vintage columbia jacket and you know just i i don't i don't wear like western you know attire all the time but anyway it's just been cold so i wore three hats the hood of the carhartt plus two other hats um just trying to stay warm but it was good it's it's like uh, me kind of preparing to do 75 hard if you don't know what 75 hard is go look that up one of the parameters of 75 hard is that you have to do two workouts a day but one of them has to be outside so i mean i wouldn't want to do it in 110 degree heat either like in arizona or florida or something or whatever so i think it's one or the other um if you commit to that for 75 days you're going to be either freezing or whatever so part of me wants to cheat and just start 75 hard like in April where it's kind of chilly in Wyoming but yet it's never too hot in the summer either not where I live so that would be 75 hard but it'd be kind of cheating but I feel like I'm already paying the price I mean like I we walk the dog a lot in this weather um I think Friday is supposed to be 40 degrees so I sure hope so but anyway um uh, my son gives me hard goods, which I don't love. I would really rather just be all a clothing seller, but you know, long story short, cash flow is an, is a, a thing for me. So much of my cost of my inventory is going to get it, like driving way out of town to get it because of where I live. So when really good inventory comes my way that I don't even have to pay for, and he's already found it and searched it, and he does the spreadsheet, then even if it's a little inconvenient to keep the boxes on hand and to have to pack them out, for me, it saves me, you know, two days of sourcing to find 32 more items that are really good. And I'm going to read off to you the price ranges of some of these. Um, we're going to split these. Um, he pays for them. He does the spreadsheet. I do the photos. And my VA does the actual listing. And then I pay for promoted listings if I think it needs it. And I pay the eBay fees. So I have no money up front. But when it sells, I do pay all those back-end fees. And then I take care of the paperwork too, which is kind of a pain. Um, but, you know, again, it's sometimes I get like three, four, five hundred dollars $500 in one week just for kind of coordinating this. And... <coughs> um, so I really am going to keep doing it. And the more he gets in the summer, we're going to try to really stock up and just have hundreds of items a week that I wouldn't even have any money out for. So let me get started. I've got to hurry. Um, I did about three of them already. I launched them. There are 32 items that I gave my VA. I took about almost 500 photos um, yes, last night. I didn't have the strength to do a whole lot else, and I was listening to a podcast, and it was fine, so it got me through. I want to say it took me about two hours, um, just because a lot of it was shoes. A lot of it I took like 20 photos of because they had details these are real small parts to some um to some uh bags of toys he's really good at toys and then he took about 25 of the photos because the toys were so small and he just thought he was looking them up anyway and kind of had them spread out so he went ahead and took those photos and um so i just downloaded those and sent them into google drive with the other so, um, anyway, I'm going to have to look at the spreadsheet as I go. That's why I'm looking over there. I'm going to have to look down the spreadsheet and find each item to kind of tell you. So, um, this is a Wilson football. Let me see what he has on this thing. He is saying that we should get about $40. He says the football has no leaks. It stays inflated. There is fading to the white paint. It does have some dirt use. And I guess it's a collegiate, let me see, it's a JGW 
collegiate football 1780 composite so whatever that means I don't care um, my son is one of the few people that I would honestly trust to do this with as far as him filling out the spreadsheet um, other than I have a little bit more knowledge on what's allowed on eBay and sometimes what they'll kick off. Like, he had given me some toy guns um, one time, and they did not have that red part that is actually attached to the outside of the gun. And even though they were this big, and you know that, you know, you would hope that a police officer would not be, you know, thinking that's a real gun, it still is the law. And, and you know, uh, I don't know what the actual width is of a toy gun before it has to have that, but eBay will take those off. So that's about the only thing that he's ever given me that I had to tell him, listen, I just don't want to put these on my account. But everything else he is really good at and his descriptions are very conservative. And, and um, so yeah, so that's that. All right, this is... Uh, Brahma boots. These are leather work boots, size 11, and he thinks we're going to get about 35. The tread is slightly worn. Inner part of the right shoe has damage to the leather, damage to the leather near the foothold on the shoes. So these must be pretty good shoes for him to think that in this condition we're still going to get 35. And he's a really good, like, sourcing person. So he, he doesn't pick up stuff unless we're going to get a decent amount. And so I'm sure these must be $100 boots if they were in better condition. Frodo, watch out, buddy. My dog is under here. He's My husband left to go across the street, and he's... We just walked him, so I know he's pooped, but I don't know. Anyway, I got these launched already. I just need to find a box for them and get it all put away. These are Tony Llama. They are steel toe. And these are TLX steel toe brown leather work boots, round toe, and they're an eight and a half D. So that's the only thing my son, he would put like the size at the back of the title. So my VA just copies his title. And I feel like based on what I've learned that, you know, um, you do Tony Llama boots, men's size eight and a half D. And then I just use the rest of my son's description. I know some people do it differently, but according to eBay and to the algorithm, that's what I found works best. So once in a while, I'll mess with my son's titles, but, um, but most of the time, it's actually pretty well done for me. Actually, I need those boots back. I got to keep my done pile from my undone pile. And I need to ship, and I need to do a lot of things. I was up at um, 445, and I thought maybe I'd go to work out at the community center here. But the teacher ha is having some shoulder problems, and so she canceled. She texted me, and that's fine. And then, so then I did get some like, you know, personal devotions and things done that I'm also feeling very behind on. I journaled a little bit and got that done. And then we walked the dog. And um, so I'm really, well, actually, I, I launched these three just to get my store kind of going. I did my paperwork this morning. So I did all that, you know, before I'm actually starting work. Now I got to put in a full day here. Um... These are DT770 Pro. I think are these sign. No, these aren't Sennheiser. These are Buyer Dynamic. And these should go for $85. He tested them. They work. They're very clean. No cracks in the plastic. No cracks in the padding or anything here. So, um, you know, so that's a good find. All right. I'm going to do a normal haul today, too. I need to get all this done and packaged. And since it's warm today, 26 degrees, I'll put my hat and coat on and I'll go in the garage. And I need to scooch all of the hard goods and make sure that they're as in order as they can be. And condense the shelving for the hard goods. And then I'll package all these and put them in there. And, you know, I just have to do it in that order. And, um... Then I will start going back through the clothing again. We'll do a haul video, and then I can go wash some more of the clothing because I've got a ton, a ton of stuff. And I wanted to get those bras done today. I just, I don't know what my priority is. I really don't. Um, this is a Canon. It is a Canon EF 75-300mm. Uh, and it's a telephoto zoom lens. My husband's, or my husband, my son's wife is a photographer. So 
um, my son just, you know, by, by nature, we just always see lenses and we know how much she pays for her. So we know that they can be worth money. Where'd my box go? So, um, I will double box this. This is a flimsy box. So I'm using this as an outer box and then I will, um, pad it better and protect it and fix it and all that. Um, so that needs done. Okay. So those are the three I have done. Watch out, boy. Um, then we have in the heat of the night and he had these two separate. Can't you get through? Come on. You can go. Come on, boy. Here. You can go on out. Going out. <laughs> he is like literally right where I need to be. So I have in the heat of the night, season four, volume one and two. And, um, these two should be $25, five discs in total. Um, he does say that they're tested and working. And, um, so yeah, so he does really good on DVDs and we, I, you know, I thought maybe we'd get more returns, but we really don't. So that's good. Okay. This is, it's a set of, um, Six Leapfrog Explorer Leap Pad games. Some are open. Two are new and not opened. All of them have scuffing and stuff to the to the outer packaging. And he thinks we can get thirty five dollars for those six. Those are yeah, um, things that we get at garage sales. Like just do bulk stuff. So he's trying to get caught up on all his stuff. All right, this is more in the heat of the night. Um, this is good. Like if you find these DVD sets, this doesn't even have the outer boxes. It's just the loose ones. Um, but if you find them in the box sets, this is a really popular series. I watched it growing up. I used to love it. It's just a police drama, but, um, anyway, people must be wanting it again. So this one is in the heat of the night, one, two, three, and four, as far as, um, I don't know. It's just volume one, two, three, and four. I don't know if it says what seasons, but it just has different episodes, I guess, on it. But anyway, this we should get 64. Each volume contains two discs in the original cases. Discs are clean. Volume two, the case has a crack in the case. So see, my VA just cuts and pastes all that. And then I double check it, make sure that he cut and pasted it correct. And then that's all my input is. So it's really convenient. Okay. Oh, sorry, buddy. See, I stepped on his tail because he's like right under me. Poor dog. He just, he's like, he's really an anxious Nelly and he just, I don't know why. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. All right. Poor pup. All right. This is <laughs> Moonlight. It's a story time projector. It's the Hungry Caterpillar. I have no idea what this thing is. And it's Eric Carl. So I know the story of the Very Hungry Caterpillar. But anyway, it must be some machine you have. And then these are like the discs to it. And um, this is $25. It includes both stories by Eric Carl and the Moonlight Projector. So I guess the Moonlight Projector is a story all its own. Now watch out, buddy, so I don't squish you. Watch out here. You can go. There is more than enough room for you to get through. All right. Great, I'm going to step on him again. Okay, good. He finally felt like he had a path. He's really, he's really weird. He feels like if... If there's like too narrow of a path, even though he could easily fit through it, he's like really nervous. But he's so good for us. We love him. He's just like, ah, oh, he's so fun. Anyway, this is some kind of a, a Nunchi chair workout. And it has all the pieces in here, you know, in this little bag. So this thing... Um, where are you? I could do control whatever, but there's only 30 of them. And then I'm on two computers. I'm on a different computer looking at this. This should actually go for a hundred dollars. So that's pretty cool. All right. Okay. This is Disney infinity. It's a uh, superheroes. This one should go for 60. It's factory sealed, but the outer box has dirt on the top of the box. So 
Um, my son probably would have sent this into Amazon, but he doesn't want to lose his Amazon account, so he is very particular. If he sells something is new, and you can see it just has a few dirt spots there, so I'm sure this goes for more on Amazon, but he is that picky about his Amazon account. So I guess he could have sent this in as used on Amazon, but he just decided to do it on eBay, so... Okay, this thing is an Anna Boiardi Flavor Pro 5.5 quart fast cooker and something, pressure cooker pan. Um, you can use it on gas, electric, or induction. Used but clean, no major scratches. Anyway, this should go for 100 So. All right, let's see. This is number 36. I have no clue what this is. My son puts numbers on the bags, especially with the toys. So I'm like, what is that? So anyway, number 36. No. This is not 36. Um, let's see now. Number 36 is the Leap Pad. I'll have to call him and ask him what this thing is. It's some kind of a toy, like a toy. This might be the Ghost Rider Vengeance toy. Toy gun accessory to Marvel Ghost Rider's Vengeance figure from 2006 or 2007. Has a bone handle with teeth on the bottom. So I'll have to let my VA know. Let me message my VA real quick. I'll have to let him know that that number is messed up. I didn't even notice that because I don't really look at the spreadsheet when I'm taking photos unless I need to. Um, let's see, number, let's see, there is, sorry, my thumb is so dry from, you know, from just the bins and from the weather and everything. I just have like a little tiny crack. It's just enough though that if I bump it, it really hurts and I'm trying to let it heal. So that's why I can't text and I'm a thumb texter. I don't know. There is a toy. This is what you do when you have a VA, you know. Like if it were me doing the listing, I would just know that and I wouldn't have to pass on the info. So, you know, if it's too many items like that, then you're not saving yourself any time by having a VA because if it's too much back and forth, if you're not highly organized, then you're doing this all day. But this is like, you know, very rare that I have to text him. Um, that says, so I feel like it saves me time to have the VA. Once in a great while, I feel like it's easy enough stuff that I have. Like it's all the same kind of pants that I could have just done it myself. But most of the time, it's a real blessing. And it's going to cost me a dollar a listing today. So that is a bargain. But it's number 37. All right, guys, sorry about that. But I'm really working. When I'm filming, I'm really working. You know, I want you to know the true time involvement of some of this. So anyway, this toy gun should go for 20. So I'll get about 10 of that. All right, this thing. This is heavy. This is a master massager. I got to just make sure that this is allowed on eBay. I mean, my son looks it up and I'm assuming that he saw sold, but... This is the kind of thing that I just really look up, make sure that there's a bunch that have been on there for a long time, available for sale. If they're all ended, then sometimes that scares me that this has a, you know, that eBay doesn't want this on there. So I will look it up first. But we're doing it for parts. The cord has been taped with electrical tape and has slight wire exposed. The item has been tested and works and turns on. Um, but anyway, so we're selling it for 50 for parts. On most electronics, we kind of sell them for parts just to protect ourselves. And, and um, we still make a ton of money. Like even on that lens, that lens looks really clear and it looks like it works. And we could probably get two or three hundred. But photography people, they will always find a way to say there's some little thing in the lens. And, and, and it can be. There can be... Um, growth in there or not uh no oh, I don't think I sent that to my VA um uh what am I trying to say um fungus there can be a little bit of fungus in a lens and so there are things to be careful of and uh all right this is a hello kitty and this is number 47. 
So this is a 2004. She's got the denim skirt. I guess this is a pretty popular plush, even with the stain on the right hand. And I probably, I don't know if I photoed that as close as I needed to. Um, anyway, this is $50. So when I'm going through finishing the drafts, if I see anything on his description, then I might just use my phone, take another photo, and just upload it to the draft. All right. These two are Battlefield 1942 Complete Collection. There's a lot of two, um, eight discs, two manuals, etc., etc. 30 bucks for these two. All right, this is a Justice League. Where are we? Justice League, he should be $35. He's factory sealed, never opened, but he does have some wear on the, on the box. All right, and then this guy, I better find his number. My son made a video of this guy working, too, so I do need to go back in and get that video. Number 63. Um, okay, Pokemon 2007 Electronic Deoxize Defense. Unless you're a toy person, you're going to be like, what in the world? Uh, it's made by Jax, J-A-K-K-S, tested and working. And so I sent my VA the photos, but I will go in and upload the um, video that goes with this. Okay, this one is number 57. A lot of 100 um, miniature um, cowboys and uh, Indian miniatures, and um, I need to make sure I should use the word Indian on there. Maybe I should put cowboy and Native American, I don't know, on here. Um, what is appropriate on that? Um, but anyway, he thinks that they're a giant brand, but they aren't marked, so we aren't going to list them as that as such. But anyway, they should be worth $65, and you know, he took really up close photos, and so a collector will know, but these are just like plastic vintage, so yeah, I don't know what the best thing on that is. I don't do toys, so I don't know what's appropriate. Um, number 58 is, uh, these are definitely marked, um, giant branded toy soldiers. So tenor gray and summer blue. Okay. Then this thing we're excited about, he called me when he was at either a flea market or a Goodwill picking this, and we had a lot of trouble finding this. We found it on Google finally, and it seems like, like in Germany and different places, like this toy is pretty common. This is made in China, and we just had a lot of trouble finding this exact thing. So he did not even put a price. We might either do this on auction. Let's see, what is WTX2 Crypto Sender Receiver? Let's see, this is number 46. So this is a Dicky Spielzug crypto sender receiver. Um, tested and turns on, all buttons work. Um, so yeah, we're going to start it at an auction at 100 and see if it's rare or not. Um, I think, um, I thought we looked on Terapeak. And it still wasn't even on there. I don't quote me, but we found it on on Facebook or I mean on Google. And for some reason, the prices seem to go really high overseas. I don't know. All right, this is an Empire Strikes Back DVD. What number are we on? 44 um, soundtrack it's $25 two discs with the manual and that's worth 25 bucks so yeah some of these things are very easy I mean I'll put them in a box because they're DVDs but they're very simple they're no harder than clothing and there's no measuring and and the bags of toys once he's done his work they're easy now the pan I've got a wrap and I've got to you know upload the video on the the one thing so there is some work to this but um I mean you know some of this stuff's good stuff Xbox limited collector's edition I keep forgetting to look at the 
Um, this is Halo Xbox. Um, should be twenty bucks in a steel book case, and it's just something he must have what that he was gonna put on Amazon, and then maybe it had too much damage. Okay, this is number sixty one. This is Lego minifigure accessories lot, over 100 pieces, um, 20 body and leg pieces, 28 torso pieces, 34 loose head pieces, 34 full minifigs. So I, I love doing this. Like this will sell, and, and he wants 150 bucks for this. This will sell right away. But the problem is, you know, you do have those people. They'll, they'll take it, and they'll take one little square out of here, and then they'll try to return it. And then you're, like, looking at recounting it. So I should have told my son to keep them in separate baggies so that, I mean, I guess the person would probably take them out of there anyway. But anyway, so part of me thinks, you know, that we should just sell it with no returns and, and, you know, and, and before I take an offer, I'll look, I will truly look at, at their feedback. I don't normally do this, but some things like this, and I can't even think what else, um, lenses can be like, you just have those people who think that they can get away with it. It just seems to be more of a fraud thing and Lego minifigs are going to be one of them. So, um, but so I don't love doing this stuff, but sometimes then you just get that customer and we take really good photos. Like, I mean, I think, uh, I'm going to look at how many photos he took. If he didn't take enough, I'm going to take like 24 full photos so that there's just no doubt. Um, my son doesn't worry. He, you know, this is his like side little bit of money coming in. So he's okay if we get a return and someone takes one out, but I'm not, I just don't want to do the work for that. Um, this is number 59, lot of 37 plastic toy soldiers, soldiers, vintage marks. I, I, these soldiers, you should always look out for, look on the bottoms of the feet, see if you can identify them or they're marked somewhere. I guess these aren't on the bottom of the feet, but anyway, this bag of 37 toy soldiers should be $37. There's marks, MPC, processing plastics, Mohawk, and Tootsie. Okay, then this, number 50, um, oh, wait, oh, 60, I was going to say, he's got the numbers mixed up and he never does that. Okay, lot of 72 vintage Tempo, um, Swap It Cowboys and Indian figures. So, horses, grass pieces, fence pieces, wood tree pieces, the trees have some broken pieces, three totems, two teepees. So, anyway, we should, on this one, get 100 bucks. So, see... I mean, it is a lot of work for me, but I'm getting 50 bucks for just doing a listing, basically, and he's already got it half done. Um, the difference in why he has me do it is I have the whole shipping set up on eBay, and, like, he's going to Denver for four days to do Amazon, and so he does do eBay when he's just home, and it's Christmas, and he's not going anywhere, but to have a full-time shipping thing where you actually ship out same day, he just doesn't have that set up. So, um... You know, and it doesn't hurt my feelings. I told him in the summer I will be your full-time lister because I'll buy my own stuff, but then, um, you know, I can just have full-time stuff like this and just have my VA do it. These are Red Wings. The downside of these, and he called me before he bought them and said, you know, I'm going to have to measure them, and we're not sure what size. So these are Red Wing Pecos Leather Boots, brown, and he put all the numbers. Um, and I'm just going to have to put, you know, that we do not know what size. Look at the measurements. Um, I'm going to measure with my my um, ruler and try to give an approximate. And I need to have my husband, when he comes home for, for lunch, to try these on and see kind of compared to my husband. Um, I know these are bigger than a nine and a half, so... These are like approximately a 10 or 11, and I'll just take returns on them and tell them, you know, measure your, your foot, and I've got the measurements in the photos, but I will look again and try to estimate the best I can, but they are really cool boots. If we knew the size, I think we'd get even a lot more, but he's going to try to get 100, even in this condition with a nail hole in the bottom, and the leather is really worn, but these boots are amazing, so...
All right, guys, two more things, and I got to get launching and packing. And actually, I got to go clean the garage real quick. That'll take me like 10 minutes. I'm not going to condense the clothing today. I'll do the hard goods, just get the hard goods going today, and that'll give me and my account. It really helps my own algorithm on my eBay thing, too, to have all these unique things. I know it helps more to just do the same thing and have a niche, and I have 90% of a niche going on with my own stuff. But, again, I've already told you the reasons why I do this. Um, This is number 64. These are Halo Mega Blocks figures. Both UNSC Spartan Covenant Grunt and the Energy Sword are unopened. So there's a bunch of just, there's like five or six of these little unopened. We've got the Energy Sword. I guess that's important. Um, so I, I love toys, and I think toys are really a great niche, but I just don't have the heart or the patience to look all this up. I just do better with clothing, but my son really enjoys it. I think it's an outlet for him. Amazon can get very boring. Um, Amazon's lucrative, but it can be very boring, and plus, I've always told him, you know, you need to have a second thing because Amazon will kick you off. They don't care if you have a 20-year history with them. They will just kick you off, and while you're getting back on, if you have another skill. So I think at first he never took my advice, but then I think because it was just me saying, you know, you might get kicked off. Amazon's brutal. But then I think in the last few years, he's um, seen not necessarily friends, but just people who he never thought would get kicked off. And I think he's kind of changed his mind. And, and it makes me happy that he could just, if Amazon kicked him off or he was done with Amazon, he could just become a toy seller. And he's very good at it. Um, it makes me, as a mom, feel like he's not going to have to go back and get a regular job, which he's just never had one. Uh, he worked for me on Amazon, on books, and then he, you know, did all that. Then he went right into textbooks. When he was in college, he had access to all these textbooks on campus. And so he's never had, like, seriously worked in a restaurant, nothing. So, um I feel bad. Like, what would he be able to do? He, he's, he's a good kid. He would figure it out, um, and he could go back to college. But you know, I, he doesn't want to. He has a really good lifestyle going on. Um, the plush has a few stains in the tummy. This is a Care Bear Hearts of Gold, and I took up close pictures of the eyes because they're I, I guess they're glass or plastic. But either way, people want to see up close of the of the eyes. And I did the butt tag and the tush tag and all that stuff. So. Anyway, this should go for 40 So, guys, that is my hard goods um, haul. It's kind of my son's haul, but I'm the one who gets half of it. So um, I'll always do these hauls whenever I have time. So I'm going to go launch all these, box them up, like I said, and then as soon as that is all done, which it'll probably take me two hours to finish those drafts and because the boxing is so intense, and tape them and mark them. Here's my... Here's my um, my list and I just go down the numbers and then I put them in my in my garage as I get the numbers so um first actually as soon as I'm halfway through with these I'll probably catch up with my VA and while he's still working on them I'll do a shipping video I've got at least 10 items going out so um I'll do that and get those to the mail and then come back and um, I hope by noon all these hard goods and my shipping's out. I don't know. That's only two hours, so it may not happen. But I hope early in the day that I'm done and all of this two big tubs of um, stuff is out of my house. I'm going to go put those big tubs that he gave me stuff in. I'm going to put those in my car and just get them out of my office. And then next time I go to Laramie, I'll take his tubs back. So anyway, guys, thanks for listening. If you don't mind, um, like and subscribe. It really helps my channel and uh, I'll be making a lot of videos today because I have a lot going on. All right, we'll see you. Bye.